Steve here with another instructional video from Hydro Missions International. In this video, we'll be talking about something called solar pasteurization and a little gizmo that we invented called the solar pasteurization detector, or what we like to call the spade. In the past, it was thought that the only way to disinfect water was to boil it. However, in the late 1800s, Louis Pasteur discovered that that was not always the case. No one knows this better than the dairy industry. Taking our cues from the dairy industry's research, we know that 65 degrees Celsius, or 150 degrees Fahrenheit, is enough to kill E. coli, rotavirus, giardia, and hepatitis A. Of course, the dairy industry uses a lot of high-tech and very expensive equipment to accomplish that purpose. But there's another solution that's been around since the dawn of time. The sun. Solar cooking has been around for a long time, and it's particularly useful in areas where fuel such as wood is hard to come by. A hot metal roof in the full sun, especially within the 1040 window, is often enough to achieve adequate temperatures for solar pasteurization of water. The spade is a simple device consisting of a polycarbonate tube that contains a specialized red wax. The wax melts at 160 degrees with a flow point of 165 degrees. The capsule is sealed at both ends with a special threaded seal that accommodates a standard wing nut. Both ends have this threading so that the capsule is reversible. There are two basic ways to use the spade. The first uses a regular water bottle. Simply take the cap, drill a quarter inch hole in it, insert the spade, and attach it with the wing nut. In this configuration, you'll see that the capsule has the wax at the top of the cap. Next, take your bottle, fill it with whatever water you need, whether it's from the stream, it doesn't matter. Put the cap inside the bottle and put the bottle in the sun. When the bottle's been sitting in the sun, the heat will cause the wax in the capsule to start to melt. When this happens, the wax will go from the top of the capsule to the bottom of the capsule. Remember, the capsule is sealed, so it's not going to go into your water or anything like that. This particular wax has a built-in safety factor. We chose it because it has a melting point at 160 degrees, but the flow point, the point at which it behaves like a liquid, is 165 degrees. That gives you an extra 5 degrees difference to allow the wax to go from a gelatinous state to a liquid state. And that gives you enough time at the desired temperature to assume pasteurization. Now remember, the spade is only a temperature and time indicator, it's not a biological indicator. As a way of increasing the effectiveness of bottle pasteurization, we recommend that groups either put the bottles on a roof, or they make what we call a pasteurization station. To do this, simply make an A-frame of corrugated metal painted black. The black will increase the intensity of the heat. Place the pasteurization station in the center of the village in the sun and stack water bottles on top of each other in the grooves of the corrugation. This is a very simple and cost-effective way to make a centralized system for a village to have clean drinking water. If you plan on using solar pasteurization for a bucket of water, you can still use the spade, only this time position the wing nut so that it's on the opposite side of the wax. The weight from the metal wing nut will weigh the capsule so that the wax remains at the top. Again, when the water hits the right temperature for the right amount of time, the wax will melt and drop to the bottom. Our favorite thing about the spade is that it's reusable. When the wax melts, simply let it cool, flip it over, and start again. The polycarbonate tubing that we use is practically indestructible, and the industrial wax does not fatigue. In other words, it doesn't really have a lifespan. The other thing that we really like is that these pack up small. You can take a hundred or so of these and set up a village with a pasteurization station and it doesn't take up much room in your pack. We hope that you've at least seen the value in using an indicator like the spade whenever you're considering solar pasteurization. Without an indicator, you're really just guessing whether or not that water has been at the right temperature for the right amount of time. 
Thanks again for watching, and please join us again for another Hydro Missions International instructional video.